Amazing. Every word of what you just said was wrong. Star Wars The Last Jedi is good. On how to tell an audience how not to make a Star Wars story, or even a sequel to a movie for that matter and occasionally triumphant. In making a mockery of the franchise and the most beloved character in it, sure. The focus of the controversy around this film has to do with how it challenges the legacy of its own franchise. It's a bit more than that. In regards to the franchise, you could say the lack of lightsaber duel was a break from the norm, or maybe the focus of good versus evil and questioning what is the Jedi and Sith, sure. Uh, maybe the theme of letting go of one's past and killing it is kind of related to Obi-Wan telling Luke to let go when he turns off his target computer. Uh, but this was a sequel to a Star Wars movie whose story beats and setups were either forgotten, discarded, or outright turned into nothing. Then, of course, there was the atrocious use of comedy. There was Rose. There was the nihilistic message of letting go of the past. There was Holdo. The unnecessary amount of story threads that go nowhere and waste everyone's time. There was Leia. The bizarre message that animal cruelty is bad and profiting from war is bad. There's Finn and Rose's intricately contrived plot point plan. Uh, there was the retcon of Lightspeed, which destroys the whole concept of a Star Wars in the first place. There's Yoda summoning lightning and raising the question of what's he been doing all this time if he could have just stopped every Death Star by just letting up its core with well, lightning. Then there's the complete rewrite of Luke's character with an unbelievable explanation. And of course the entire setup of a slow motion car chase in space which takes about 70% of the movie and allows all this nonsense to happen. There's a lot more and every fan has something to hate or nitpick. I guess the change in legacy of is kind of part of it, but it's like pointing to a specific area of Ground Zero and saying, oh, there used to be a tree here that everyone liked, despite the entire forest being annihilated. The problems with The Last Jedi are multiple, and not limited to expectations of a space opera subgenre. But today I want to look at the dramatic bedrock on which all of these themes are built on, rather than the themes themselves. Sure, but drama is not the problem with The Last Jedi. Drama, or a sense of drama, occurs when you care about your character. You're concerned about them, you relate to them, you're interested in them in some way. Giving them arcs, or giving them a structure to allow them for that drama to occur. While that's important, it's not the point of a space opera story like Star Wars. It's not really the focus. It certainly helps but it's not really essential. At best, you'd get melodrama. It's just enough to get the job done, and Rey could be a static brick, and some might argue she is, as she takes acting lessons from Kristen Stewart. But whatever her personality, the story could be great or horrible. What matters, fundamentally, is the plot. You can still hate what the film chooses to say, but at least we can agree that it says what it wants to say in an effective manner. Why does a film need to say anything? Why does it have to have a message? Why does it need to preach this message? Why can't it just be an entertaining film with simple, flat characters? Additionally, why can't it simply be a Star Wars film that makes sense and has consistent characters that are believable? The first thing a story needs, and I stress this, is believability. If I do not believe in the fiction in front of my face, the words entering my brain, then the story has failed. When a story like The Last Jedi exists, that has problems with, with pacing, dialogue, theme, action, characterization, comedy, logic, I mean a whole bunch of things. Drama or dramatic structure is not really the main problem. I mean, it could have amazing drama. We could really care about every character and the problems are still there. They'd still exist. The point of a movie is not drama. It may be maybe to a romance or maybe to a tragedy, it would be but not a Star Wars flick. There's a critic I deeply admire who goes by the pseudonym Film Crit Hulk, who in a practically novel length essay on- Okay, a film critic who types in all caps? Sorry if I don't bother to admire a man who intentionally doesn't use proper grammar. No thank you, go back to grade school and learn some English, please. The seven questions are a good way to diagnose whether or not you have a story. A story has nothing to do with drama. That's like saying a car needs to have heated leather seats. Drama can come from a story, but a story is just a series of events. What did you do on the weekend? Well, I did Y, and then X happened, and then Z happened. That's a story. 
drama, comedy, intrigue, that all comes about if you care about the story, if you care about the characters, if the story means anything to you, if it relates to you, if you react to it in a certain way, whatever. While I know there are rules for drama, and if you were making a romance or a tragedy, that would really matter, because catharsis would be the point. But not when you're talking about a film about a white knight versus the black knight in space, and people are shooting laser bolts at each other, and the Mary Sue character just can't miss. I think it's useful to talk about this in regards to The Last Jedi specifically, because this film has three distinct plot lines, and each of them answer all seven questions. Now, maybe your definition of plot is different than mine, but this plot was about Rey, who was out for self-discovery, and was trying to get Jake to come help her stop the First Order, while a slow-mo space car chase occurs. This wasn't about Poe or Finn or Rose. There were story threads, but if they don't tie into the main plot, they become bridges or threads to nowhere. But this will lead them into trouble because their want is in some way immoral or misguided. It's not the thing they actually need to solve their problems. No, not, not really. A want or a desire is the point or goal of the story. Jake wants to sit on his ass. Is that bad or misguided? Uh, he may not know how to do it exactly, and he might not want to seek redemption. Who knows what that was about? Ray wants Jake to save the galaxy. Is that bad or misguided? Is that even logical? Does that make any sense? I mean, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. Let's start with Poe, since his arc is the most overt. What he needs is to become a more responsible leader and to learn when to retreat. Why? You could have argued he simply needs to follow orders, or stop being a hothead, or learn to sit on his ass all day and do nothing like Jake. After all, if it wasn't for Poe, Finn and Rose wouldn't have caused the death of hundreds of rebels. Or simply run away when someone else provides a distraction for him. Uh, pay more attention to nature and then spaceships. You know, pet a dog, I don't know. I mean, why would an X-Wing pilot want to destroy a giant fleet-killing ship when given the opportunity? Clearly he needs to follow orders because Leia told him not to. I mean, Leia clearly knows a lot more about space combat and dogfighting and the, the importance of destroying a fleet-killing ship and... That clearly wasn't the time to do so. I mean, there's really only one person that knows how to fly in space, and it's certainly not him. He has less internal conflict than the other protagonists. I I'm really sorry, but you only think you know the internal workings of Poe's mind, who isn't a person and is barely a character. Now, Rey is much more complex. She's got a lot of plot-oriented goals. So what is a plot-oriented goal? To me, as defined by Ian Forster, is the why of a story, whereas the goal is its point. It is the desires or wants, as Truby would describe them. Now, how is that any different from Poe or Finn having desires? Yes, they have their own plots, but they aren't plot threads. They're ancillary to Ray's plot, who is the main character. The protagonist gets a plot. Side characters at most get subplots, but only if they connect with the plot of the protagonist. If they don't, you're wasting everyone's time. Remember, this is a story about Rey trying to find out who she is and trying to get Luke to help her to stop the First Order, however that would even work. Everything else is secondary. But what she actually wants on a character level is external validation. I don't think I've ever thought of a protagonist as wanting something on a character level. Why can't you just say they want something? They, they do something out of X. Okay, that X, that's the plot. But, you know, this is all semantics. She wants to hear that her parents are important and that, therefore, so is she. Uh, no. She wants to know where she came from. That's for sure. She wants to know why she was abandoned. She wants to know if there's anyone out there who cares about her. I guess that's why she wanted to wait on Jakku. She wants to know what was going on. She's lost and has no one save, I don't know, Leia. But that's not really expressed very well, actually. 